Welcome to the Word Exposed. Together, let us receive the Lord who embraces us through the unfolding of the sacred scriptures. Stay with us and feel the outpouring of His steadfast love. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is the first Sunday of Advent, the start of our preparation and waiting for the coming Emmanuel. Also today, we open a new liturgical year. We are in Cycle C. My dear friends, we have a beautiful selection of scripture readings today. The first reading proclaims the Lord as our justice, fulfilling His promise to His people. The second reading encourages us to make ourselves holy and pleasing to God, living His commandment of love. Then in the Gospel, the Lord reminds us to be vigilant at all times, being mindful of the signs of the times. As we continue, let us recollect Am I prepared to behold and welcome the Son of Man? According to Jesus, the Holy Spirit will not invent new truth. The Holy Spirit will lead us to the truth that Jesus has already taught. When you have the Holy Spirit, you can speak and explore different languages to address people of different needs. Barriers and boundaries of discrimination, division, and injustice should disappear. The diversity of the gifts should not be a hindrance to the strengthening of the church. God chooses all. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord, our justice. The Word of the Lord. Our first reading on this first Sunday of Advent comes from the prophet Jeremiah. Wow, it is the beginning of another liturgical year. And uh, just like any preparation for the coming of our Lord in, on Christmas, we, during Advent, recall not only His first coming during the first Christmas, but we also recall how He constantly comes to our lives and we await His final coming, His second coming in the fullness of His glory. Now, in this first reading from Jeremiah, His first coming, his birth, is very clearly anticipated. For we are told that God promised to send, to send from the shoot of David, from the tribe of David, a just ruler. Now this is a promise of salvation, especially to a people who have been longing for the intervention of God. And we know that this is about really the birth of the Messiah from the house of David. And look at what this birth will do to the people. This Messiah will do right and just things. Now, this is good news for a people who have been used to living daily, beset by a lot of injustice, a lot of injustice that threatened their lives. And so the coming of someone from God and from the tribe of this great King David is really good news that is welcomed by the people. And because of this, Jerusalem, the land will be safe and the dwellers will stay there secure. Now, this is very earthy. This is very palpable. 
with the coming of the Messiah, living conditions will change. Those who live under threat will now experience, wow, the miracle of security and safety. And in the end, Jerusalem will not be called simply Jerusalem because of the coming of the Lord and because of the changed conditions that the people will experience, Jerusalem will be called the Lord our justice. My dear brothers and sisters, Advent is supposed to be a season of rejoicing. Rejoicing on account of what? We rejoice because God will keep His promise. God is not blind to His people and their travails. God will come to save. And that salvation will come from someone born in the house of David. We know Him, Jesus Christ. Advent is a time to anticipate with longing and with joy God's salvation that will come to us through Jesus, His Son. So let us be joyful, but let us be clear. We are joyful not because of the commercial value of Christmas, not because of the many benefits or bonuses that come to us during Christmas. The true spirit of Advent is rejoicing because God saves and He will make our lives secure in His Son. In this day and age, social networking has become a very convenient mode of communication among people. With just a click and the power of the internet, you are able to reach your loved ones wherever they are. On the other hand, it is saddening and alarming to know that there are some people who take advantage of the reach and availability of social networking sites, spreading scandals and false information about a certain entity or personality, engaging in fraud and scams, and at times pretending to be someone else. Recently, I have been getting reports that there are fan pages and personal accounts under my name and are circulating over Facebook. To set the record straight, I have no personal Facebook account. Rather, I have only one Facebook page, and it is being maintained by Jesuit Communications. I seek your help in reporting fraudulent pages and accounts, not only those concerned with myself, but also with other people and entities. Let us keep the social networking world a good communication venue by being truthful.